Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to control a stepper motor NEMA 17 with a sequence of steps where the motor will do for the first second 1000 steps, the second second it will do 3000 steps and it will also reverse the direction and in the third second it will also reverse the direction and do 800 steps and it will repeat all in a loop. This project is brought to you by PCBWay. What I really like about them is that you can get 10 professional made boards for around $5, which is really amazing for professionally made boards. On their website just click on the get instant quote and you will see how much the PCB will cost. They also offer other services like PCB assembly, 3D printing, CNC machining. Now they also offer aluminium PCBs and their latest special offer of flex and rigid flex PCBs. The link will be in the description, so go and check them out. So for this project you will need a stepper motor, NEMA 17, a power supply for the motor, a stepper motor driver shield, stepper motor driver like A4988 or DRF8825, some jumper wires, Arduino board and Visuino program. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to Visuino website and download and install Visuino program. Start Visuino and select the board. In our case it is Arduino Uno. Now add pulse generator component. With this component we are going to set the speed for the motor and of course generating the steps. In the properties window set the frequency, in our case it is 2000, but you can change this number according to your needs. Add counter component. With this component we are going to count the steps. And in the properties window set max rollover to false and value to zero. And click on the pin icon and select integer sync pin. Now also set min rollover to false and min value to zero. Add unsigned to digital component. And in the properties window set output pins to one. Add sequence component. Because we want to stepper motor rotate in a loop, we are going to set the repeat to true. Double click on the sequence one component and in the elements window, drag period to the left side, drag another period to the left side and in the properties window set delay to 2000. and drag another period to the left side and in the properties window set delay to 3000 and close the elements window add integer value component Double click on the integer value 1 and in the elements window we are going to set the amount of steps. So drag set value to the left side and in the properties window set value to 1000. Now drag another set value to the left side 
and in the properties window set value to 3000 and drag another set value to the left side and in the properties window set value to 800 and close the elements window. Add digital value component. Double click on the digital value 1 and in the elements window we are going to set the directions. So drag set value to the left side. Drag another set value to the left side and in the properties window set value to true and close the elements window. Connect sequence 1 period 1 pin out to digital value 1 set value 1 pin in and to integer value 1 set value 1 pin in connect sequence 1 period 2 pin out to digital value 1 set value 2 pin in and integer value 1 set value 2 pin in connect sequence 1 Period 3, pin out, 2, digital value 1, set value 1, pin in, and integer value 1, set value 3, pin in. Connect digital value 1, pin out, to Arduino board, digital pin 3, and connect integer value 1, pin out, to counter 1, pin reset, and counter 1, pin max value. Now connect pulse generator 1, pin out, to counter 1, pin in, and connect counter 1, pin out, to unsigned to digital 1, pin in, and connect unsigned to digital 1, pin out, to Arduino board, digital pin 2. At the bottom, click on the build tab and make sure that you selected the right port and board and click compile built and upload button.